No fear. Bravery or foolish inexperience. I cannot trust one who could become enthralled at any moment. Prove to me you have the will to resist this foul magic. Find me at the lair up the hill east of here. Then I shall consider it. And now, my work begins. So, you made it through the mist. Your will is stronger than I expected. Vampire scum. He barely put up a struggle before he fell to his knees, begging for what he calls a life. I did not expect such weakness. I will finish him now, if you'd be so kind as to step aside. No. This pathetic being is hardly even worthy of my blade. The one I followed here is called Fainir, a much more formidable foe than this maggot, I assure you. We shall meet him soon enough. He and all of his coven shall die. As you wish. In this moment or the next, his existence shall end either way. But be ready. You must have mercy. The Dark Elf won't listen, but you will, won't you? We were different. I didn't want this. Kept to ourselves. Didn't prey on the living. The beasts, the Horvor, glutted themselves on the blood of hunters. We fed on them. We didn't kill anyone. It was a natural way. Until he came. The Veiled One. Ultima, I think. Sought an alliance. Promised power told us we didn't need to hide anymore. Others in my clan agreed. He taught them a ritual using an ancient vampire skull, said it would allow them to make countless thralls. The skull rests in the back of this cavern. Its curse seeps into the mists all around us. Destroy the skull and the magic goes with it. I never wanted this. Spare me and I can bring others to my side. We can be of use to you. Yes, he was the loudest of the supporters along with Athraidel and Lathriel. I saw them speaking with the Veiled One often. They never listened to me. You'll have to go through them if you want to reach the Skull. Now please, just let me go.
finished with your little chat? I shall relieve him of his head now, and rid us of his insufferable mewling. Did I not warn you of this? That his vile tongue would worm its way into your thoughts? There's no such thing as a good vampire. Just a vampire that has not yet been tempted. Our goals here are the same. Will you forget them for this scum? I can't oppose you. I don't slay the living. Only the dead run along, little worm. A brief reprieve only. I'll find you and your kin. Oh, thank you. The rest who opposed Fania have already escaped. Filth. Now to Fania, quickly. My blade does not enjoy being denied a meal. Lead on. I shall strike from the shadows. awaits them all. Your torment is ended. Shall be purified.
So that explains what we saw as we slew them. They bound themselves to the skull. Dark magic often comes with a heavy price. It's you again. The hunters say the mist has lost its sickly tint. Did you find the source? Vampires here. Sickening. Hunted in our own hunting grounds. We'll be more vigilant of their kind now. I'll see to it personally that every last one of them is destroyed. Thank you for helping us.
She is lost to me. What do I do now? Oh, a fellow member of the guild. Well met. I'm here searching for a few others of our order. I don't suppose you've crossed paths with them, huh? I see. So their lust for power led them to their demise. A lesson every maid should take to heart. Thank you for seeking me out about this. You've saved me much fruitless searching. It is good to know the matter is dealt with. You. Did I overhear you correctly? Vampires were the source of the creatures and the corrupted mist. Oh, tell me it isn't so. It's just that my wife, Alcenia, was among the lost. And while some have returned, she never came back. I don't know if she's dead or just lost out there alone. Would you? You're searching for me, aren't you? Let us speak quickly. I don't have much time. I know you're looking for me. I'm showing myself to tell you to leave. Tell Thornor you found me dead. It'll be true enough soon. I'm going to end my life before I turn. I was out gathering fungi when the mist suddenly took on a strange hue. The next thing I remember is waking up in a dark place, surrounded by strange Bosma with glowing eyes. They told me I'd be one of them soon. It's true. I can feel it. I don't know. I've seen my husband out here, calling for me. I keep myself hidden because I don't want him to see. I can't go home like this. When I turn, just leave me. I'll end it soon. I just want to watch the sea a bit longer. A cure for this? <laughs> you mean like the potions, the wild witch brews and children's stories? It said her hovel appears and disappears at her whim, and that she could brew potions to cure any ailment. It's been a long time since I heard that story. And that's all it is. A story. I'm going now. Please don't look for me again. What's this now? How would I know what others call me? I am Galareth, and you are inside my home. Why have you come here? I might have something that will do the trick, assuming they haven't fully turned. But I expect I'm running low on the blood I harvest from the Horvor nearby. I dislike collecting it, but it is a necessity for me. If you will gather some, I will give you the potion when you return. No thanks. Ah, free at last.
At X diminish, zone, looking for chill, like minded, active players of all character, and I skill level. Guild, done. mechanics are hard. We are PvE slash PvP slash social guild. No requirements. Anyone is welcome to join. You have good. good. Yeah. You there. You're searching for me, aren't you? Let us speak quickly. I don't have much time. I'm already suffering enough without you making a mo- Ugh. Tastes like bugs. I do. I do feel somewhat warmer. More myself. Less cloudy. But what if they come for me again? I feel like they're in my mind, always watching. I see. I noticed the mist had changed. I thought it was only my changed eyes embracing its corruption. Thank you for this. I thought it was hopeless, but now I can return home to Thornor. I will. I can't wait to see him again. Please, take this. It isn't much, for I can never repay what you... I can't believe it. He was right again. When will I learn not to wager my gold against Razumdar's instincts? He said you would be coming this way. Is it true, then? Did you persuade the Wilder King to swear loyalty to Queen Iren? The Wilder Queen, eh? Times are changing in Balenwood, aren't they? All this has put the Dominion in a delicate position. I suppose that's why it's so important that we are here. Razumdar sent me here to await your arrival. He wants you to join him as quickly as possible. It seems Vicereve Peladil came this way after stealing the Staff of Magnus. Who can be certain? I suspect he merely seeks to find a ship and flee back to the Somerset Isles. Perhaps he is determined to see Prince Naaman's body laid to rest there. Razumdar has his own suspicions, though, and he seemed quite concerned. He was unwilling to share his suspicions with me. Whatever his instincts may be, though, this time I will wager that he's on the mark. 
Undoubtedly, Razumdar intends to share his thoughts with you. You'll find him in the Thalmor headquarters. Your mother was right. You are entirely out of your element. Don't bring mother into this. Break my concentration. Now, what were the words? Lume... Uh, Lume... Blast! How did they go again? Will you hold still? This illusion requires precision, which I cannot achieve with your tail constantly twitching. Bah! This Thalmor mage will drive Razumdar mad. Stand here. Hold this. Everything's so exact. This one prefers more flexibility. He hopes you agree, because we must move quickly here if we are to protect the Dominion. We must find Peladil, of course. This one tracked his stinking hide here after he stole the staff of Magnus. He's the boss of the Veiled Heritance now, and he has allies here in Woodhearth. Dirty traitors who conspire against Queen Irene. This we do not know yet. But Razumdar has devised the perfect way to flush these rats from their hidey holes. If they had an opportunity to assassinate the Queen, surely they would take advantage of it, yes? No. Razumdar will be the Queen instead. If this mage does his job, of course. We will go soon, so Raz must prepare. Speak to Trithane Fariel. She can tell you more about the traitors who are helping Peladil. This one would ask a favor. If the Stalmor mage turns Razumdar into a monkey, you must exact vengeance. Oh, and you would need to track down Peladil on your own. Raz hopes this will not be the case, though. Hmm. Razumdar thought the Viceree was a clawless coward. Always going on with Prince name on this and Prince name on that. So pathetic. But he is more tricky now. All this one knows is that Peladil is near and that he has the staff of Magnus. Last time this one saw Naaman, he was still quite dead. But Peladil wouldn't drag around the prince's corpse just to make sure he gets a proper burial. Some sort of necromancy must be planned, but why? Naaman can't rule the Dominion if he is undead. You share Razumdar's distaste, yes? We must accept them, though. The Thalmor were sent to Woodhearth when the Dominion was formed. This port is critical for trade, and there is concern it could be a target for enemy spies or for the Maumer. Of course. Wherever there is sea, there is the threat of the Sea Elves. They have sought to conquer these shores for centuries, and the rise of the Dominion has only served to provoke them. The Thalmor helped boost the city's defenses. Battle Reeve or Selmo issued the orders, but Queen Irene gave her blessing. She prefers not to send the Thalmor to every city in the Dominion, but in this case, she had little choice. Even Trith and Fariel agrees they are needed. Of course, wherever there is sea, there is the threat of the sea. Battle Reeve or Selmo issued the orders, but Queen Irene gave her blessing. Hmm. 
Razumdar thought the Viceroy was a clawless coward. Always going on with Prince Neman. Last time this one saw Neman, he was still quite dead. But Peladil wouldn't drag around the princess. So you're the one who's going to accompany the cat on this guar-brain scheme of his. I hope you realize what you're up against. These traitors in our city have sought to stir up rebellion since the day King Kamoran joined the Dominion. So you'd think, but we've never caught any of the traitors. They may not actually be Bosma at all. Our enemies are always one step ahead of us. Roman doesn't want to believe it, but I think it's obvious there's a spy among the Thalmor. No, we've gone to great pains to keep Razumdar's plans secret. The spy must believe that Iren is really here. There have been rumors that the Mawama plan to raid us, so we've put word out that the Queen has come to make sure the city's safe. Yes. Mad as the cat may be, his plan might actually work. The story is that the Queen wants to personally investigate the old Imperial underground. You'll escort her there to meet Asteril, a Thalmor officer we suspect may be a spy. Ha! The cat didn't tell you, did he? No, we can't send any guards. We don't know who we can trust. He thinks the two of you can handle it, though. I don't know if I'd call that confidence or foolhardiness, but I hope Bandar is with you either way. As soon as Sanadul gets the spell right and turns your friend into a queen. Assuming this works, you and Razumdar should leave for the Imperial Underground straight away. Oh, here we go now. It's about time. Hmm. Very convincing. But is the illusion applied everywhere? Perhaps this one should take a moment in private to double-check, yes? There were no miscalculations, I assure you. Now excuse me, I must wash the smell of cat from my robes. Raz looks good in this form, but then Raz always looks good. Queen Iren could maybe learn a thing or two from this one. A fair point. Raz, uh, I will keep that in mind. You have spoken with the Tree Thane, then. You understand my genius plan, yes? Yes. There we will find out the truth about this Thalmor officer, Astoril. She's quite the beauty, I'm told. But traitors are never what they seem, yes? This one is... No. I'm ready when you are. Be ready. This one is counting on you to watch his, uh, her back. Astril, is that you? Yes. Come closer, my queen. I have something for you. What is this? A gift in memory of Prince Naaman. Vice Reeve Peladil sends his regards. You will die. And the true king of Alinor will rise again. Well, that.
that hurt? Raz will be fine. A few burns will not kill this one. But uh, for the moment, he thinks you should press on alone. You must catch Astaril and find out where Peladil is hiding. She used some kind of magic to escape, but it was not a portal, so she cannot have gone far. She must still be here, somewhere in these tunnels. I need to aid. the side. Changes nothing. Raz heard sounds of fighting. Did you catch up with Astaril? Were you able to question her about Peladil? Dark moons. If Astaril got away, we will have to track her down. And the Veiled Heritance is here? That is troubling. Razumdar suspected a few might have come, but he did not expect them to be here in any numbers. Hmm. Some of Razumdar's contacts warned him that the Veiled Heritance was not putting all its hopes on Prince Neyman, that they had backup plan. Neyman is dead. This must be backup plan. Possibly. If they cannot rule the Dominion, perhaps they would destroy it by attacking Valenwood. But Raz would not have thought the Heritance could muster enough manpower. Let us go. We must tell Trithane Fariel what we have learned.
If what Razendar says is true, the city of Woodhalf owes you a debt. Of course, if the city's attacked and destroyed, that won't be worth much. Maybe we can prevent that. The cat said you found orders from Vice-Reeve Peladil. Can I see them? Damn! This proves that Peladil is planning something here. Something even bigger than killing the Queen. I'm glad you brought it to light. I just hope it's not too late for us to do something about it. There's something about Peladil's orders. The reference to Astral seems strange, and a Roman still refuses to believe she betrayed us. Either way, Astral's the key to unraveling this mess. We need to question her and find out what she knows. Well, if she hasn't realized we're onto her, we might be able to catch her by surprise. She might be down at the Thalmor residence right now. I assume a Roman will want to be there when you confront her. The three of you should go quickly, though. Even if Astoril's fled the city, you might be able to find some clues about Peladil's plans in her quarters. Let's hope you find something, because otherwise we don't have much to go on. Not much, really. I heard he just followed Prince Naaman around like a little lost puppy. Now he runs off with Naaman's body, steals the Staff of Magnus, and takes charge of the Veld Heritance? It seems this puppy might have a bite after all. This is preposterous! Astral has risked her life for the Dominion more times than I can count. She is one of my best officers. I refuse to believe this irresponsible slander until I have spoken with her myself. You must understand, one doesn't become a Thalmor agent until their loyalty is proven beyond question. If Astral confesses, or if we find substantial proof, I will admit I was wrong. Until then, I remain extremely skeptical. This is Thalmor business, and I am going to the Thalmor residence to confront Astral myself. You are welcome to accompany me if you choose. You see? It's clear that Astral has been dead for some time, so she cannot have been the one you saw in the Imperial Tunnels. <laughs> I told you, say what you will about the Thalmor, but we do not have traitors in our midst. Her death troubles me greatly, but the integrity of the Thalmor is of greater concern, and I am pleased to be proven right in that respect. With that concern behind us, we can finally start searching for the true source of this treachery. Undoubtedly, it was the same person that assumed her likeness and attempted to assassinate the Queen, uh, Razumdar. Speaking of the cat, it seems he may have found something.
This one looks forward to pouncing upon an unsuspecting Peladil. This nonsense is becoming tiresome. There could be some useful evidence down here. Let us look closely before moving on. Asteril had a sister? A twin, perhaps? That would explain much. Raz suspects these tunnels will reveal the rest. What's happening? I hear the Thalmor has issued a call to arms. Aye, and Tree Thane Fariel has sent word to the other Tree Thanes. It's a Marmor invasion. Marmor? Where? Compared to...
Three thin fog. At Mazera 000, zone, how do I use the new life charity writ? At Madras, zone, LFMBHRC, 2 DPS.
perfect. My favorite people, the very faces of my failure. And now you've tracked me down just to watch me die? You're just like my sister and the rest of the Thalmor. No sympathy whatsoever. <laughs> Funny you should ask. I was wondering the same thing. Then I realized he lured me here so his assassins could kill me. This is my reward for my loyal service. A blade in my gut, and a nice cold tomb. Planning? Oh, he's well past that point. As we speak, his armies are storming the shore, up at Seaside Sanctuary. Once they've got a foothold there, they'll conquer all of Valenwood. And there's not a damn thing you can do about it. Of course not. They're just one prong of the mighty trident with which Peladil will smite the Dominion. He signed a treaty with the Malma, and with the Staff of Magnus he's going to raise an army of undead. Yes, your days are numbered all right. Oh. <sighs> you mean elsewhere? Far as I know, Peladil doesn't even care. Of course. Who better to lead an undead army than an undead prince? And if Peladil brings him back, Naaman will be bound by the Vicereve's will. And no longer will Peladil need to worry about the prince making bad decisions. Ha! <sighs> Peladil says he's a... Just leave me to die! It's too late. He can't be stopped. Razendar explained how we were fooled by Laryl. I wish I had time to show proper gratitude, but he also told me that an army of Mawama, led by Vicereve Peladil, is making landing on our shores. Is this true? 
Damn. Honestly, I rather hoped he misheard. I suppose that's rarely the case. Very well, then. I will muster the city's defenses, but there is only so much we can do. I'm certainly glad you're here. You and Razumdar may be our best hope. You should get to Seaside Sanctuary as soon as possible. If we strike the Maoma hard enough there, we might be able to drive them back out to sea before they get a foothold on the shore. I'll send anyone I can spare, but the city comes first. There is an outpost at the sanctuary with a few soldiers, if it hasn't been overrun. Go through the Serpent's Grotto and look for Major Serenway. She's the commanding officer. The sanctuary is the largest Maoma foothold in this area. If they plan to attack Woodhearth, it will come from there.
Those frozen faces. I can't go down there. I... She killed them all. Froze them solid. How am I supposed to defeat that? I had to run, right? I, I had to hide or I'd be killed too. Uri's mother, a legendary beast. We'll kill it and take home the trophy and be legends ourselves, we said. We charged and she... Well, just look down there. <laughs> Troll can't have gone. Damn troll. Got away again. Impossible to kill. You really got yourself in it this time, that Ronor. Now, I'm a member of the Hounds. Maybe you heard of us? Sport hunters mainly, although sometimes people hire us to do the occasional good deed. Like killing a troll that's been terrorizing other hunters. And it won't be easy.
There you are. I felt embarrassed at my cowardice sending you back after this thing after I'd fled. I thought I'd come to help you avenge my companions. You did it? You must be stronger than you look. Thank you for avenging my hunting party and making the area safer for all. I don't have much, but take this as my thanks to you.
You're alive. Well, that's a relief. I couldn't have lived with myself if it had killed. Legend in the Hounds is that there was a wood elf named Horace who was the best tracker there ever was. I think you might be in competition for the title now. The legendary hound. He's obsessed with this mythical sench, and his hunting companions never return. I heard he was near Verant Morass. It's a hard life. It's a hard life. Unless you're here to help us, I'd ask that you be on your way. I swear, Zoxus himself has it in for me, or this is his idea of a joke. I've been complaining about how serving in the Guard is a waste of my abilities, and now we're in a crisis that demands my skills, and I'm woefully out of my depth. The damn seals are attacking, both the Sanctuary and the Grotto. They must have known about this place. A massive sea serpent has been bound here for centuries in the pool above us. And now, a Maorama mage has broken the seals holding it. I don't know. All I've been able to decipher is the seals were created with blood magic. If you kill the Maorama and infuse this blood rune with life energy, you might be able to repair the seals. But there's more to it. I... I need to keep reading. If this works, I'll owe the gods an apology. Fill the blood rune and then use it on the three seals. After that, we'll have to deal with the binding pool. Hopefully, I'll have figured this out by then. I'll meet you up at the gate. Ask then, but be quick. If that serpent gets free, it'll destroy everything on the western shore of Valen. The seals are actually small pools of water. Elaine, Ralos, and Valia. They're named after those who sacrificed their lives to bind the serpent. That's all I know. Don't know how the mage broke them, or if the blood rune can really repair them. From what I've read, it sounds like that might not be possible. This is no ordinary sea serpent. The text refers to it as the Great Serpent. 
I don't know what that means, but apparently binding it here was the only way to stop it. I only know that he's very powerful. When our scouts approached him, he burnt them to cinders with the flick of his wrist. I suspect he also knew about this place beforehand, and he probably studied up on the seals. Again, I'm only guessing here, but I read that the Maoma were once able to command such creatures. It scares the oblivion out of me to even consider it, but...
Did you see that? The Marima Mage had activated the barrier on this door to block us from getting to the vine. <laughs> Did you see that? The Marima Mage had activated the barrier on this door to block us from getting to the binding pool, but I figured out how to break it. What about you, though? Did you repair the seals? We have to go out to the binding pool and channel the energy to rebind the serpent. I've read everything I can, but this is old, wild magic. I don't know if I can do this. And, all right, if this works and you are able to defeat the Marima Mage, I'll need you to do one more thing. When I say the word, Use the blood rune to activate the final seal. That's it. All right. We can do this. Yes. All right. Let's go. Ithra's bones. What in oblivion is he doing? We have to stop him. Hurry! I'll begin the rebinding spell. You take care of that mage! Use the blood rune on the final seal. Quickly! Saying sweet mercy, we did it! The serpent's bound again! First off, I have to say I'm sorry to the gods for ever doubting them. Second, I promise I will never say that guard duty is beneath my abilities again. Never. I think I've done all I can. You're pretty tough.
The hour of our glory is nigh. Razumdar forewarned me of your coming, and I have considered our circumstances carefully in light of that. I have the utmost faith in your capabilities, and I am confident that your arrival is an augur of our victory. Indeed. We have fought alongside many of the same soldiers, and word travels quickly when it involves heroics such as those attributed to you. I have anticipated the chance to meet you in person, and I am pleased the opportunity has finally arrived. This, my friend, is the calm before the storm. Our storm. The Malma believe that holding hostages will prevent us from taking action, but we will not allow such cowardice to determine our course. We will act, and we will act decisively. We charge into their encampment, rescue the hostages, and slaughter their commanders. This full scout we captured gave us their locations. You and Razumdar shall spearhead our attack, one of you to handle the hostages, the other on the commanders. More brave soldiers arrive soon from Marbrook. We will rally them here and prepare to launch a full-scale attack. When your task is done, light the beacon in the lighthouse. That will be our signal to charge in and drive the bastards back to the sea. Olmian, Mayritel, and Bashira, all very influential in their own way. We need to ensure they're freed before we launch a full-scale attack. Time to do what we do best, yes? This should be fun. Excellent. Many opportunities for heroism, adventure, and thrilling tales after the fact. So, my friend, what will it be? Will you tend to the hostages, or take out their commanders? Ha! Dirty hands for dirty work. Raz will see to our captive friends, then. Stay out of sight if you can, or grab Larnil's armor. It's not fashionable, but you'll at least blend in. Always. Ra
mercy. What's what going, going on? on? Why, why don't you just kill, kill me? To let, to let me know your hypnosis? It's wrong. I see. I don't know. 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 I don't God, so I don't even look the normal anymore. No, no, I'm not no, all right. right. I'm not dying. And then just as yes, well, well, it was not that bitch. I said, I'm real sister. She was a bit of a ass, I know. And for the last thing you hear, you're real underground. Then, 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 Bring him back, back and give you, you him, him some, some terrible power. Bell and Bill kept talking talk talk about, about how Prince, Prince would be the undead army. But, but I don't think it would work out that way, way he hoped. hoped. When, when May May was came back, back, he was wasn't the same. same. Somehow like, like some, some evil, evil spirit, spirit was speaking through him. He spat back in Helen Bill's face. And then, then just, just laugh. laugh. Helen Bill was furious. He stopped out a little later. later. That's all, all I was able to hear. Yeah. No, 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 no. 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 My, my, my eyes, eyes are gone. gone. My mom wants to scar on all over my body. Please. Please. I just, I just want, want to die. die. Another score, score and I will my mind, mind just, just the same. I, I could come down the five all, all day, day long. Well done, done my friend. friend. We'll have a safe night and a little good thing, but we can't, can't stop here. here. The best battle's only just begun. Hey, 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 that's why, That's why you, you must, must go, go after him. him. You, you must, must ensure, ensure Peladil will not escape. Captain Jimmer and her who have been taken up by and she says that she is fit for action. They're really ready to sail as soon as you get on board. On board. May the wind be at your back, back my friend, friend. And may, may the Peladil fall quickly to your strength. strength. There you are. Impressive. Impressive. 
have. Yeah. The no, no, I didn't know what happened when, when I was forced, forced to storm it in. And that, and that was my ship back. Of course. course. The problem has been getting a doctor to a home. She's, she's ready, ready to pounce on, on that as the hell of it is. As soon as we catch him. And, and, good, good. As soon as we're on the way, as soon as we can catch him. Raise anchor.
way! You may have made it. I was thinking you have had my doubts. Then this, this is called for celebration. Let, let us return to the shore and share the good news, news with the major city anyway. Told about victory here today. Tales of today's battle will undoubtedly be told for generations. When soldiers of the army read in the face of possible odds, they will not retreat. They will say, Remember the battle is seized by a century, and they will press on to victory. Let us hope. If they do do their ugly heads again, we will smite them once more. There remains one very serious concern, however. The soul soldiers have captured the vice history of Dungeon to which will rain rain from the dead. We have, we have conflicting reports. 